Hello, my name is Jeremy, and I will be presenting the paper AAR, Augmenting a Wearable Augmented Reality Display with an Actuated Head-Mounted Projector. This is part of the work I'm doing at the University of Waterloo with Yinting and Dan. First, let's define what augmented augmented reality is. If we consider AR conceptually as a means to alter or enhance the user's physical environment with digital information, we can think of the implementations to achieve that goal along a continuum, where we have commercial approaches with waveguide displays, like the HoloLens, approaches that use a head-mounted projector with a beam splitter and retroreflective surfaces, approaches that use a head-mounted projector that directly augments physical surfaces, and finally, approaches that use in-situ projectors that are embedded directly within the physical environment they are augmenting. Each approach has their own advantages and disadvantages. For example, some render augmentations privately for only the user using the AR display, while the others augment the world directly, making it public and viewable to any other user co-located in that space. We take aspects of all of these systems and combine them with a unified framework. This allows us to physically augment the environment publicly with an ad hoc steerable projector, while also allowing us to render augmentations privately inside the headset, ultimately allowing us to augment augmented reality. For example, we can project content directly into the real world, rendering it onto physical surfaces in an ad hoc SAR setup, or render content directly on the HMD display, blending it with a peripheral projection, or have content on the AR display while rendering another perspective of it on a nearby surface. We developed a concise design space that explores augmented augmented reality along two dimensions, the user role, which captures who is benefiting from the augmented environment, which could either be the HMD user, the external user, or both, and the projector role, which describes how the actuated projector is used in the environment, which could be augmenting the view of the user, the environment, or to simulate an external display. Together, they describe multiple different scenarios where the HMD and projector can be used to assist the user in the space. To demonstrate the feasibility of AAR, we developed a number of scenarios that explore our design space, like augmenting the view of the user with a graphic user interface outside the field of view of the HMD, or to use a nearby table as a way to project a CAD-like overlay of the virtual 3D model. This can be used as a reference or used to study specific details not shown on the model. Or the projector can be used to augment a physical object for design and prototyping. Here you can see a serial design projected onto a generic box located on a nearby table. Or the projector could be used to highlight physical objects in the environment, which can be used to direct users or highlight points of interest in the environment, like on a museum tour. Or the projector could be used to enhance the environment lighting of a space, like when the user is listening to music. Or the projector could be used as a means to create an ad hoc presentation, where the slides are projected onto an adjacent wall and presenter notes are displayed privately on the HMD. To enable all these usage scenarios, a one-time calibration was re required to recover the server's positions and axes of rotations along with the location of the projector's frustrum relative to the HMD. Together, the calibrated geometric relationships are used for precise movement control in our software toolkit. Please see the paper for details on how this is accomplished. The toolkit allows developers to rapidly create AAR experiences by providing high-level access to features of our AAR framework. This includes movement of the projector, snapping the projector to locations around the HMD frustrum, and blending between the projector, HMD view, or both. All these and more can be currently accessed in our corresponding GitHub repository. Link is in the paper. That's the end of my presentation. Please see the paper for more details uh, and check out the toolkit on GitHub.